Hey guys, Stace Ace here and I wanted to bring you this video today to allow you to save time in your life. <laughs> Weird as, as much as it seems, but you're actually looking at a tool here that's going to save you hours, uh, days, weeks, months, years even on your life. Okay, so what this is, what the hell am I talking about? You know, what this is is um, I mean you know you, you know yourself I'm into SEO and using SEO um, practicing SEO can be tedious and one of the things that is tedious is um, when you have big large um, uh, bits of information and you need to manipulate that information this here textmechanic.com is an amazing tool and it's free as well you know you just go to log on to textmechanic.com and use it for free as you can see here, it's got a lot of different features. I tend to really only use um, probably that many yeah, features out of this. And that top one is pretty good as well. So, you know, the rest of them I haven't really played with, and but, you know, they are all very handy depending on what you want to do. But, you know, I'm into SEO, and what I want to do, mate, basically is, let's, let's say I've got a large amount of text, um, Nine times out of ten is URLs, you know, it's domain names or something like that. So, um, first of all, is a remove duplicate lines. So let's click on that one, and uh, it tells you all this text here tells you how to work this out, so you can easily work it out yourself. But look, I've got loads of Tumblr, um, Tumblr websites here. Yeah, maybe um, there, there's some duplicates in there. I, I don't think there is, but I could just click here and it will go remove duplicate lines. It says zero remove, so there isn't. One of the other tools, um, actually let me go back to here, um, add prefix suffix to lines. This is really handy, this is. So, um, actually let me go back and I'm going to show you something where I can take away, uh, find replace text. So I'm going to pop, let me see, find this place. So I need to paste in here all my Tumblr sites because I've been scraping Tumblrs. Oops, and maybe I want to take away this HTTP. Okay, so I say find HTTP colon forward slash forward slash, and then I'm going to replace it with I don't know whatever www dot if I want to. Yeah, click that. Boom, it's done. Yeah, it just it just did 522 replaced. Okay, so maybe I have um, maybe I have the www dot. Well, maybe maybe I have a um, a load of uh, domains here with no HTTP or no www on them, and I want to put www on them. So I'll just come here. And I can uh, actually, there's another tool to do this. So I'm going to copy all them. I'm going to take it over to another tool here. I'm going to take it to prefix and suffix. Okay. So what this does is you can add um, HTTP. You can add anything you want. I'm just using HTTP as an example, but you can add it to the beginning or you can add it to the end of each line. Okay. So I'm going to put my input text in here. So obviously I've got no nothing in front of this. And I just click that, and boom! It's I've got it. HTTP on everything here, yeah. Now maybe um, let me just copy that a sec. Maybe I want to uh, move the, the, the remove the um, the actual trailing slash, so I can say uh, find trailing slash. Actually, now that's going to remove this trading slash here. But I can add it back on, you know, in a few clicks. Understand what I mean? So replace it with nothing. Click there, boom. It's, re it's moved that one, but it has removed these ones as well. So I could say remove the HTTP. Yeah. Copy all that. Go back over to the, the suffix one, actually. Yeah. Pop that outbound text in there. Um, sorry, the input text in there, and let's just get rid of that. I can put the HTTP colon forward slash back onto the front of it. 
So you can see this is really handy, and this is just um, you know this is just some of the things on here. You can count words and lines. So if I've got all that data there, you know how many have I got? Um, so I've got seventeen thousand thirteen characters. I've got 2,420 words, zero sentences. I've got 523 lines, which basically means I've got 523 uh, domain names. So that's another one there. Um, well, there's remove duplicate lines. I've gone through that one. Remove empty lines. So that's if you've got, let's click on that and I'll show you actually. So that's if you've got like um, some empty lines like this. You know, say you've got lots of empty lines there. You just want to remove all them. So just copy that. Uh, oh no, just just click on this actually. Yeah. So just click on that. Boom! It's removed them all. So it's really really handy. And, and you know, being in the SEO, you're always coming across things like this. Remove lines containing. Another really useful tool. Um, so let's remove lines containing you, for instance. I'll just pick that out. And you can remove lines not containing as well. So remove lines containing. There you go. They've removed like 17 uh, lines on there, 505 remaining. So, you know, it's, it's just. A great tool, very, very diverse, and there's loads of other features on here as well. Um, remove empty lines, remove extra spaces, uh, find and replace text. You can really, really play with that. Um, remove line breaks. So let me just show you that one quickly. Input the text there. Um, actually, I think we need to go back over to put input text in there, and I can say, sorry, no, it's asking this one here. Find and replace text. So I want to find and replace text here. So I'm going to find, I'm going to just hit the return key. Yeah, find a return and replace it with a comma. See that, and that just puts it all on a massive line like that now, yeah? So sometimes you get like, like comma separated, um, you know, data. So if I copy that and then go over to, which one was it now? Uh, and remove line breaks. Input the text there. I can say remove all line breaks and replace it with that. Make new line breaks every. Duh, 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 duh. Make new line breaks after each occurrence of this text, which is a comma. And then I click that, and it's put them all back. Okay, I've got the comma on the end still, but you know yourself, you can go back and you can use that on, on some of the other tools and just get rid of that very, very easily. So, you know, this is a very, very good tool, very, very easy to use. Uh, you know, when you go onto any of these, all the actual data that you need, so let's click on this one, find and replace. It's down here, you know, it tells you how to use it anyway. You know, so all of these here, you can happily use these all here. Personally, myself, I only really use this first block um, here, which is very, very handy. So, guys, I hope that was helpful for you, you know, being in SEO and messing around with large amounts of text. This thing is just a lifesaver. And as I say at the beginning of this video, it will save you days, weeks, months, possibly even years on your life. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.